Sports Lovers, it's official. Anthony AJ Joshua versus Dillian, the body snatcher white has officially been announced. The fight would be taking place at the O2 Arena. Then it would be fought on the 12th of August, televised on the Zone Pay Per View in the UK and on the regular The Zone app in the United States of America. This is a very good fight at this stage. That, that is my initial take. The fight is a very good fight for both fighters at the stage at which they are in their career. Before I get into it, let me bring you all those shenanigans that happened before the fight was finally uh, signed. Uh, in 2019, Dillian the Body Snatcher White was offered the Anthony Joshua fight with a $5 million uh, guarantee in which Dillian the Body Snatcher White turned down and that was the exact same time when Andy Ruiz grabbed the opportunity and defeated Anthony AJ Joshua in the round 70 KO in the Madison Square Garden. So that was the same opportunity that was given Dillian White when he turned it down the first time. And this time around, he was crying. He came out with, uh, on social media with Talk Sports and on Sky Sports, granted series of interview about the fight and wanted the fight. He was giving a peanut, but he accepted it. But he was still unhappy with the rematch clause and signing multiple fight deal automatically with matchroom if he if he's able to come out victorious but anthony joshua believing in himself asked eddie hen and his team to take out the rematch clause and let it be a one-off fight just like dillian white wanted and he wants and and that showed the confidence of anthony joshua and he wanted the fight and he has since then been in training camp in dallas training with uh Derek James, the trainer of the year last year, and he is on the that guy is on the verge of making history. Derek James, I'll do a full episode. So if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Press the bell icon, press the like button, and express your views in the comment section so that you don't miss anything that happens on your number one boxing channel. Now, back to these two guys. I think that uh Anthony Joshua took the right decision, one of fight, the winner takes it all. The winner would go ahead and fight Deontay the Bronze Bomber in Saudi Arabia, especially Anthony AJ Joshua and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder have agreed the fight in principle for December, but there is no guarantee for Dillian the Body Snatcher White if he's able to pull the upset in beating Anthony AJ Joshua, there is no guarantee the Saudis will choose Dillian the Body Snatcher White as a replacement for Anthony Joshua. So, if Dillian White is training, he should train hard, secure the uh, beat Anthony Joshua and just hope that the Saudi then become interested in making him a replacement for Anthony Joshua. I wish both guys all the best. This is a very good fight. Not all good fight gives us a good show. So, I hope that this fight as good as it is it would give us a good show from action till it ends and i'm very positive that anthony aj joshua would stop dealing the body snatcher white that is not my final prediction this is just my initial reaction to the whole fight i think that Anthony Joshua should come out victorious with the rate at which Dillian White's chin or resistance level has depleted. I think Anthony Joshua should should be able to come out with a W. Anthony Joshua, yes, he has looked gun shy in a few fights that he has fought since losing to uh, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. at the Madison Square Garden, like I said earlier. But his his depletion is not as fast as that of Dillian the body snatcher white Dillian white seems not to be able to take any uppercut and he was very wary of the uppercut against Jermaine Franklin which is a common one of the common opponents between both fighters and uh, Anthony Joshua beat the Jermaine Franklin via a unanimous decision whilst uh, Dillian the body snatcher white did it via a majority decision another common opponent is joseph parker anthony joshua beat joseph parker to win the wbo world championship title then he later then after that he fought dillian the body snatcher white though dillian the body snatcher white won that particular fight he had to overcome a knockdown in order to secure the w so anthony joshua always does one better than dillian the body snatcher white i think this fight is going to be an entertaining one bad blood as they have 
as they have titled the event history of violence so may the best man win this is my initial reaction if you have not subscribed please do subscribe on the 11th of july i would be posting the terence bot crawford versus eros pen fight official preview and making my official prediction there are a lot of good fights that are to be made in boxing the undisputed between saul canelo alvarez and jamal chalo undisputed versus undisputed that's another good fight that has been made we just hope that atta better bf come out victorious so we can see atta better bf versus before that would also be another great fight so this year has been a good year for boxing thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please do subscribe press the like button express your views in the comment section about this fight stay positive remember